Hey everybody, we're playing Payday 3 and we are working on the achievement for completing no rest for the wicked without letting a die pack explode on very hard or above. So the achievement is called Color Me Surprised and for this one we're going to go into the bank and inside the lobby area if you look next to the windows you should see little switches and we can actually close the blinds on this. So we're going to close all the blinds here and our next tactic requires a couple of real player teammates, but one person's going to position themselves in the lobby, the other person is going to go in the back, and we're going to corral as many hostages as we can get our hands on. The name of the game here is Buying Ourselves Time, so we're going to trade hostages, and we're going to get caught on purpose, and then we're going to trade all of our hostages for as long as we possibly can to buy ourselves enough time for the thermite to be dropped off to us onto the roof. There are hostages in this back conference room. Once everyone starts freaking out, all of the hostages upstairs will come down. You can catch all of them in the stairwell. You are gonna have to take out any security guards that do not surrender, but you should have plenty of hostages at this point. We're just waiting for the thermite to be dropped off onto the roof, and we can actually set up the thermite and not light it just yet. So we're going to take the thermite down, we're going to set it up here, but we are not going to light it. As soon as you ignite the thermite, the assault will start and you can no longer trade hostages to buy yourself time. So we've put the equipment upstairs, but we're waiting for these extra bags to get dropped off. And now we are as close as we can possibly get. We're going to drop one bag in at a time. Once it starts to dwindle a little bit, we'll put the second bag in, but we're waiting for the second drop. So you need four bags in total. There are two drops of two, and we're just pushing through all of these enemies, really just waiting for these extra bags to drop. I know I said they'll be dropping on the roof, but sometimes they're on the roof, sometimes they're outside. So you are going to have to pay attention to whether they're on the roof or out on the street. Make sure you're just being diligent about all of the enemies around. You don't want them to pile up on you while you're waiting for the thermite to burn through the floor. But once the thermite is done burning through the floor, we can jump down into the vault. Police regrouping is sort of a bittersweet situation because, you know, it buys you a little bit of time, but the police, once they come back, are going to be even stronger. So that's what's difficult about this on Very Hard is the assaults just get more and more difficult. But... We are inside the vault now and we're going to take a look at actually deactivating these die packs. Just as a frame of reference, we have been able to just barely complete this with two people. So one person can do about four of these before it becomes a problem. We had three people here, so no worries at all. More people makes this easier, but we're going to bag up all this money. We only need five bags to complete this mission on very hard. So we're going to bag up five bags. We're going to move through the back alley once we get out of this area here. Just pushing through all of the enemies. Make sure you stick with your team as much as you possibly can. Communicate. And now we have to work on getting all these bollards open. The ballers aren't always in the same area, so you are going to have to investigate, just look around, find four of them. You're going to flip the switches and hold off until the van gets there. Because you need five bags, someone is going to have to hoof it back for the other one. Two of us went, but I cannot recommend these turrets enough. They made this way easier than probably it should have been. Once you're done putting all the bags into the van, stand on the escape pad. The achievement should pop for you once you've successfully entered the match summary. But hopefully this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching and we will catch you next time.